Hello fellow video creators, in this tutorial I will review some fantastic hidden features in Premiere Pro and even if you're a seasoned pro there is always a trick or two to pick up, so let's dive in. First let's start with this simple but really useful hack. Let's say you finish with editing or you're still editing but you want to see part of your video on a full screen. Instead of exporting it and then watching it on full screen like I used to do, you can do it in Premiere Pro by going to the top right corner and clicking on this arrow icon. And just like that, you have a full screen mode. Now tip number two, probably most of you know how to do it, but it's really worth mentioning. For example, you made a cut you didn't want to make or you deleted something you didn't want to delete, but you wanted to undo it. To do that, just press Ctrl and Z and things will go back to what they were. Tip number three, it's how to make panels bigger. And here size really matters. For me, finding this hack was a game changer because as you know, editing on a laptop, the screen is not the biggest and you always lack of space. So when I found out that I can make every panel bigger, I was mind blown. And to make the panels bigger, you have to press this button on your keyboard and boom plenty of space and by the way i don't know the name of this button so please let me know in the comments down below what's the name of it i've been struggling to find it and honestly i don't know what's the name of it Tip number four, it's all about quick exporting. And probably some of you know how to do it and some of you don't know how to do it. So to do that in Premiere Pro, go to the right top corner, find the quick export icon, click on it, customize the exporting settings and you're ready to go. Now going to hack number five, this is another game changer for me. Let's say you have a B-roll and at first you didn't want the audio going with it, but in the last minutes you change your mind and you decided you want the audio as well. And here the big problem comes because you don't want to go through this B-roll and find the exact part you want from it and then extract the audio, yeah? That's a waste of time. So the easy fix is to create in and out section of the B-roll and then press F. This will automatically show the B-roll in the source panel alongside the audio. And what you have to do is just grab the audio and place it on the timeline. And just like that, you found your lost audio. Wow, so easy. Gem number six is how to niche clips and audio. And uh, this tip might change your life forever. And I mean it, because it changed mine. Now, let's say you made a cut and you want to place it one video track below or one video track above, but in most cases, you place it over an existing video. And this is always a nightmare because sometimes you just want to place it one track below and you somehow manage to put it over the other video on that track. Now, let's try it again, but this time I'll select the part I want to move, hold Alt and hit the down arrow of the keyboard. And ta-da! is perfectly placed in the track below. You can also use this method if you want to move audio backwards or forwards, especially when you want to sync an audio perfectly. The last but not least, it's tip number seven, and it's how to decrease or increase the volume levels in Premiere Pro with only two buttons. Now in Premiere Pro, make sure that you first selected your audio track, then go to your keyboard, Press the left bracket button and you will decrease the audio levels. And if you want to increase the audio levels, press the right bracket button. You see, it's so easy and it could have saved me so much gray hair. Okay, people, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. And more importantly, I hope you learned something from it. And if you did so, please smash that like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more Premiere Pro tutorials. As always, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.